you are the one with the vision. That's why you're here. Just get started. Step out there outside of yourself and your zone. Be disciplined. Definitely figure out your target market. Mentorship is really important. Build that network, reach out. Continue to break glass ceilings. Persistence, never give up. Be kind, be good to people. My name is Drakes. I'm a fashion designer uh, from Richmond Hill, Ontario. Uh, my label is called Drake's, it's self-titled. When I was in the 10th grade, I used to sketch this little logo on just random items, like my math tests, like walls, books, and things like that. And I put it on a hat and I showed a few of my friends and they're like, yo, we would buy this. I went to Dollarama the next day, bought a hat for $1. Um, went to an embroidery lady down the street and I begged her to put my logo on because if, if you know, they don't really just do one hat. You got to approach them with like 30 to 40. I sold it, that one hat, and then I was like, you know what, what if I make 30? And I think that's when I really realized I could take it to the next level. On the left there is the Dare to Dream Freddy Krueger jacket, inspired by society's chokehold that it has on young children to not chase their dreams. And then right there is the Lord Forgive Me For My Sins leather jacket. You'll see a lot of skeletons used in my brand, and it's actually not something that's dark. It's, I don't care if you're brown, black, white, Asian, straight, um, or gay, it doesn't really matter to me is because at the end of the day, we're all a skeleton. Um, we're all a bag of bones, so. I applied to Ryerson when I was in university, didn't get in. Um, so I boosted up my portfolio and eventually I got in. And that's what made me fall in love with cut and sew and sort of the, the whole production behind actually making a garment from start to finish. I think for a lot of black people and minorities in the creative field, again, it goes back to just, it's not really taken seriously as a career. It was kind of like nine to five and then my, my label. And then label was doing well, but then as soon as I quit my nine to five, it kind of went like this. So I would definitely want to influence children and teach them what the really like the ins and outs of what it's like actually being in the creative industry because you're not really taught that in school. You're kind of just, it's arts and crafts, right? Advice I would give to someone in my situation or someone wanting to pursue the creative industry or fashion in general is definitely figure out your target market before starting anything. Um, and really hone down on the type of people that you want to sell to and the type of people you actually want to see wearing your, your clothing. Physically a milestone, I would love to have a flagship store in Toronto. I think mentally a goal of mine is to just have my brand as an educational tool for a lot of people because they lack that education on clothing, which is honestly, I feel like something everyone should learn. It's just, it's almost just as important as food, like the amount of impact that the clothing industry has on, on the environment. I feel like I wanna use my brand to educate people on that. Hi, my name is Drakes, I'm a designer from Richmond Hill. The name of my business is Drake, self-titled. It's a unisex streetwear brand, and thanks for having me.